You want to say hello? No, nah, Hey, y'all. Country Girl and Marie here. Uh, just as promised, my son is back with me. We're going to do this one. Uh, the meal cold weather menu number 11, scrambled eggs with bacon. Now, I've only, this will be my second um, meal cold weather that I've ever done. Um, I got this one and the other one uh, from Canadian Trucker. Um, so thank you. I've been saving this one. Uh, when he sent me my big box of stuff, um, there were two of these in there. And with a bunch of other stuff, if you go back and watch that video. Um, and I've kind of been like rationing these. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and do this one. I chose to bring this kind down here so that I could show my son. Um, this is Michael, by the way, my son. Um, I chose to do this one, bring this one so that he could see the difference between um, the meal cold weathers and the regular ones. And some of these peelable seals, you're laughing at me, but some of these peelable seals just don't want to open. And it's just about there. Pull that apart. I've just about got it. I don't want to break my fingernail. I just got up. <laughs> I don't want to get elbowed. You're saying I have long elbows? No, I'm saying if they think pulls real hard, it might hit me with the elbow. Okay, good. That's good enough. All right. They wanted to make sure this peelable seal was fast and tight. But now he gets to see the difference between the regular MRE and the meal cold weather. Um, so this is our main course, Michael. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Now I told you the difference between the, the main course and, and the other one is that one's already mixed. This is freeze dried. So if you're in a place where it's zero degrees, all you have to do is pour boiling water over this. Now, I guess I am gonna have to get a pack, a pack of scissors, a pair of scissors, hold on. They gave us hot sauce. An instant coffee. And Swiss. Okay. So, before we go and get everything out, hold on now, you're getting ahead of us. Um, so, before we get started on anything else, I want to go ahead and put the hot water in this so this can go ahead and reconstitute. Now, you can, this uh, freeze dried, you hear the air coming out of it? Okay. Um, this freeze dried meal is by Mountain House which I was explaining to my son this morning, you can also get Mountain House freeze-dried meals at Walmart. I was telling you that this morning. So it says to add eight ounces of hot water or a third of a canteen cup to the pouch. So, but we're just gonna go ahead and, I've got my hot water. Well, those are eggs. It looks like popcorn. I know. Look, I don't know if y'all can see down in there. And it does kind of look like popcorn. Just there's, about the there's bacon in here somewhere, too. But I've got my my hot water right here. But I'm going to pour it over the sink because I don't want to get it all over the place. Or burn myself. Mmm, that smells good. Smell it. It smells like regular bacon and eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that water gets all the way down there. I need a spoon. They didn't give us one. Did, oh, they did. Okay, I have an MRE spoon. So I'm gonna use this and stir this in to make sure that everything gets reconstituted, you know, really good. And you just close this up. Like that. And just sit it to the side. So I'm going to sit this right here. Just like that. Well, 
Do you have like a bag clip or something that I can put on this? Sorry, I wasn't completely organized. So that big one's fine. Any of that's fine. Yep, there we go. That'll hold it. Hold on, I want to do it to the side over here. Let's see. There we go. So there we go. Now we have it clipped so that the heat cannot escape. It's fashionable. Yes. Okay. Now, Michael has already gone ahead and started opening the accessory pack, but we're going to go ahead and I'll show you. The date code on this uh, meal cold weather is the 129th day of 2018. So this is a, a newer one. But he's already started pulling stuff out of it. But we're going to go ahead and take everything out. It's empty. Comes from toilet paper. Yes, which you can also use as a napkin. Some people call it a butt ration. Some people call it John Wayne paper. <laughs> I know it sounds a butt ration. Yeah, but anyway, but it's toilet paper, or you can use it as a big napkin. But I don't usually ever use these, so I have tons and tons and tons of them stored at the house matches these are the white tip i usually get the red tips um there's some more of that gum uh our moist towelette we got we got sugar uh bill's brew instant coffee y'all can see that this is our coffee creamer and a hot sauce <laughs> Um, so I'm going to, do you want to make the coffee? Okay, so you can try MRE coffee. Let me get us some hot water. Yeah, yeah. Let's put that in the microwave behind you and for, I guess, one minute. All right. So now we got our water for that heating up, and then we can make our coffee. All right, on to what else comes in here. We got a fig bar. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Uh, it's probably going to be like a fig Newton. You know what fig Newtons are? Okay. We also got. Oh look, we got several drinks. Look, we got orange beverage powder. So we do have our little cup right here of water. Remember I told you that the, the drinks sometimes come in either one of three different sizes. You can get them in the little the little ones like we had last night or a big one like this or there's a medium sized pouch that's about like this size. So we've got a uh, beverage powder orange. We also got milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. Um, we got oh nut raisin mix with pan-coated chocolate discs, which are um, M&M's. <laughs> and, oh, I love this stuff. Ow. The Mountain House, this is what, I'm so excited to have this. The Mountain House, this is really good. This is the Mountain House granola with milk and blueberries, and this is so stinking good. Okay. So here we go. Um, I think since we have coffee, we're not going to do the chocolate one. We're going to do the orange one. So I'm trying the coffee, though. Huh? I hate coffee. Well, you might like this. Okay, would you rather do the, the, the cocoa instead? Yes. Okay, so we're going to do the cocoa beverage powder as a hot drink this time instead of cold. <laughs> Prefer cold. Yeah, huh? Prefer cold. You want it cold now? I mean, for a hot. Okay. But I'm going to pour my water in my orange stuff here. I hope I don't spill it out. An O? Okay. <laughs> An O? I made a mess. But it's in there. So now, mm, God, that smells good. Wait. It's orange. Oh. It smells like high C or tang. You know what tang is? No. Millennials. Okay, so we're going to shake this up just like we did the other one. Make sure all the powder is out of the 
the corners. All right, so here is our orange beverage powder. Oh, that looks good. There's still a little bit of powder in, the, in there that didn't get mixed, but see these larger ones, they don't mix through all that well, but they're still, they're still good. All right, so now we have our hot water, which I'm going to pour over the sink into uh, this before I shake it up. I don't make a mess with it this time. And then we're going to have to get some more water because i got to put water in the granola. Okay. And here is our cup for our chocolate. Here was our orange drink that we mixed. And now we're It's making... basically juice, right? Oh, man. It smells like Swiss Miss. Hot chocolate. Good. Smells good. I don't think I've ever made any other chocolate drinks as a hot drink before. I usually make them as like a cold one. Kind of like the carnation. Ooh, that's hot. Instant breakfast type stuff. burning my fingers. Oh, man, it smells just like hot chocolate. Okay, so now we're going to pour this into our cup. Now we have a, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there is hot chocolate in there. Smell that. Smell good? Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead, since this has got to be, um, rehydrated as well. Um, let's see, two to four ounces. I'm going to go ahead and I love this. This is probably going to be my favorite part of this whole meal is the uh, granola with blueberries. Now, remember I said I want to go to Walmart today and pick up some Mountain House freeze-dried meals so we can do some more videos together. This is going to, this was one of the ones I was going to pick up from Walmart, but now I don't have to because I have it here. So I'm going to go to the sink and I'm going to go ahead and add my um, my uh, water to this. You like blueberries? Yeah. Well, you'll like this. This this is granola with milk and blueberries. Smell it. And it's so good. It is. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Let me rinse this little spoon. And you got to make sure you take the oxygen absorber out, too. Mm -hmm. Which, just so y'all know, I did take the oxygen absorber out. Smell it though. See how it turned it into milk? So, this one, this is one of my favorites. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry I keep getting up, but I need to get something here. Put a little bag, bag clip on that as well so that can rehydrate. All right, so while we are waiting on our food, to finish rehydrating now that we've got our drinks. We're gonna, we have a bowl and we have a plate for our food and stuff. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open our um, 
nut raisin mix with pan coated chocolate discs, which all the pan coated chocolate discs are is basically an M&M. &M. This is a trail mix. I know you know what trail mix is. But he is allergic to peanuts, so don't eat the peanuts. But you can try the uh, M&M's and, uh, and the raisins. And there's almonds in here. I don't like raisins. See, there's, there's, um, there's M&M's and peanuts and almonds and I see some walnuts. Yeah, almonds, peanuts, walnuts, raisins, and M and M's. And I don't like, I don't, I don't like nuts either. So, other than the peanuts, what are you doing? I'm opening it up to see what's inside, just in case there's a peanut inside. No, these are just regular M and M's. I like eating the raisins and the M and M's together like that. This had a peanut in it. No, it didn't. There's something with peanut on it. No. There's no peanuts in these M&M's. Oh! There's a hazelnut. I found a hazelnut. It's not bad. That's not my favorite part of it, though. How's the drink? What was that? You got a chill? It's not as sweet as the one from last night, is it? I'm gonna try the hot chocolate. Mmm, that's good. This stuff needs a little bit more sweetener. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and open the fig bar. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a um, a fig Newton, which I happen to like. Date code of the 115th day of 2018. Yep, just like I thought. Don't break it like last time. They're gonna be, they're like uh, Fig Newtons. Okay. Oh, it's that. Yeah, you like Fig Newtons? They're good, they're like cookies. Eh. This is gonna be good, I like these. I love Fig Newtons. And now they got Fig Newtons in all different kinds of flavors like Strawberry Newtons and Blueberry Newtons and something you should be eating, Prune Newtons. Why? Mmm. That doesn't even taste like pig to me. It's got like a... I don't know. It's almost like a strawberry. Why should I eat the prune newtons? And to keep you regular. Here, try it. You try it. like it. God bless you. I liked it so much it made him sneeze. Hmm. Not bad. I am gonna have to get another bowl. Sorry. All right. <coughs> God bless you, Michael. Thank you. I forgot we're gonna need a bowl for our um, granola. Bless you, my goodness. You all right? Can't stop sneezing. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and open our eggs. It says bacon and eggs. And see how good these are. Hmm. They they look like they incorporated pretty good. I'm gonna pour it, drain out the extra water. So that way we don't have them so watery. I don't want them watery. But they turned out pretty good. I don't know if y'all can see down in there, but they are incorporated. Or, sorry, reconstituted. I don't know where that came from. But we're gonna go ahead and pour out our eggs. And they gave us a good helping of them with bacon. Look at the bacon. Jeez. That's a lot of food, isn't it? I mean, I didn't think there was going to be that much in there. It's in, did you see how small it looked to start with? Y'all, 
This is a, like a regular sized dinner dinner plate. And I just want to show y'all. And y'all saw how small that little pouch, it was like condensed to like this much. And it's like tripled inside. Look at that. There is a whole plate. Whole dinner plate is full of eggs. And we have our little Fig Newton over here. Well, that's not done reconstituting. You want to try the eggs and bacon? Sure. But there's little pieces of bacon and egg. Big, well, big chunks of egg and little tiny pieces of bacon. And neither one of us have had breakfast this morning. What do you think? It's pretty good. Pretty good. You went back in for a second bite, so it must be. So, if you were camping in the woods and this is all you had to eat, you would really enjoy it. Well, if I guess that's all you had to eat, you would. You had to enjoy it. You would have to, but if you had a choice, would you eat this again? It would depend on if it okay. was, if there was another choice, and if it was if it, there if the other choice was what we had last night, then I would. He would go for that. I would definitely <laughs> choose that. Now, the eggs are, of course the powdered eggs like you get at McDonald's um, but the bacon is like a real smoky flavored bacon almost like an applewood flavored bacon and it's really good and the eggs are not gritty like some um, powdered eggs are that I've had but they're not bad I was actually scared to eat this one this morning because I was like Ugh, bacon and eggs powdered bacon and eggs. Mm. One more. Okay, hold on. I need the spoon so we can get into this. Now I'm going to open up the uh, granola and milk. Now I have had this before in another MRE. And I love this stuff. Not to mention I have bought the Mountain House. I bought this by itself by Mountain House before. And it was just just to have it on its own. But this is the Mountain House Dehydrated Granola with Milk and Blueberries. Look at the milk. Turns it nice and blue. There's the granola and the blueberries. I don't want to miss any of this. This is good stuff. Want to take the first bite? Because I've had this before. You take the first bite. Okay, he's scared. But anyway, I'm not scared. what we've got is we've got our milk, and which is of course now turned purple because of the blueberries. But there's big pieces of blueberry and um, the granola, and it's really, really good. I, I've had this before, and I absolutely love it. I want to get a big spoonful. Mm. It's good. I love this stuff. Let me try it. Okay. It's like eating a bowl of blueberry cereal. Overall, have you tried the hot chocolate? No. I love this. I'm going to finish this. This is good. Now, hot chocolate's pretty good. I think it needs to be a little sweeter. Now, you want to try the eggs with a little hot sauce on them? No. No, he said. Anyway, overall, Michael, what are you doing? A spoon. I'm going to go get himself a spoon because I'm sitting here eating the uh, granola, and he's going to eat these eggs. Overall, if you had to rate this, 10 being the best, what would you rate this meal? About a 25. Not, not in comparison to the one from last night. 
I'm probably going to say about a 25. Really? So, so far, the two MREs that you've had, you are very impressed. Uh-huh. Okay. Out of everything that you tried in this meal, what was your favorite part of it? The last night, your favorite part of that one <clears throat> was the drink. No, it was the main course. And the main course. But he did like the, the uh, cranberry grape drink. It's probably got to be the eggs. No. And bacon. I was very surprised that that bacon and eggs was going to be good. I didn't think it was going to be good. Oh, thoroughly. Well, it's really hard to put the proper amount in there because sometimes with the freeze dried stuff, try and try right and try and not to make it too liquidy, and you don't put enough water in it, and then you end up with crunchy pieces that weren't rehydrated, and you know. But that's why sometimes you put a little extra water in it, then you can always drain out the rest of the water, you know? And I drained out a lot of it. And it's not that, it's not that, um, that watery. There's no water, like, floating around in the plate. So far, I think, gross. I think, um, my favorite part of this meal would definitely have to be the, uh, blueberries and granola with milk. Um, I like the Fig Newton and the eggs were good i'd have to say they're good i would recommend would you recommend this meal cold weather this particular menu all right y'all um our next video that we're going to do is going to be a uh, canadian imp i'm not sure um when we are going to do that video like i said um i'm going to be here till the 15th um and today is the 8th so sometime between now and then um, I will be putting up that video with him. I'm going to try my best to get my dad to do the Canadian IMP uh, video with us. You think Papa will do it? Maybe. Because last night after we uh, when we did the um, the menu number 15 um, when we got done filming we still had a little bit of everything left and my dad was sitting over in the, uh, the living room watching a, a game and we took everything over there and let him try it, and he was thoroughly impressed. So I want to see if I can get him to do the uh, Canadian IMP with us. And um, I was going to have my dad try the breakfast with us this morning, but he went to Mass. So, um, and Michael's going to finish it. <laughs> I'm probably not going to. I'm going to probably save some for him. Well, okay. That would be nice. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'm sorry this video was kind of like all over the place. Um, I am tired. I I'm still half asleep. But, Big um, Noon's actually better than I thought. Yeah. They taste a little bit different than the ones, like the name brand They don't ones. taste like fig. I know. I think it has like a strawberry flavor to it, doesn't it? It's like another fruit. Strawberry sort or of like a, apple or something? Yeah, apple. But anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Again, I'm sorry this video was all, all over the place. The IMP video will be more put together, <laughs> um, more organized. But thank you guys again for watching and supporting my channel, and y'all come back now, you hear?